and welcome to B-Movie Euphoria's 31 Days of Horror. <sighs> okay, so, I haven't been doing too good. This is my second video, so <clears throat> bear with me a little bit. Sorry. Um, I have been watching a fair amount of horror movies. It's just doing the review is the hard part. So, let's get to this one and get it done, and then we can get to the next one and the next one and the next one. Um, today's film is a Shutter exclusive film from Down Under. Um, the Furies. Yes. AKA, how many Jasons can you fit in one movie? That should be an alternate title, but it's not. Anyway, so the basic story. Here is a couple of friends, a couple of uh, no good nicks, our female friends are uh, spray painting in an, uh, an alley, and they both get abducted. The one girl, let's say our heroine, uh, starts having these visions of being worked on in a operating room, and then she wakes up in a black coffin in the middle of the woods, and that's when the real shit starts happening. So, we have uh, creepy Jasons coming out of the woodwork, we've got a Leatherface Jason, we've got the killer bird from Stage Fright Jason, we've got so many Jasons coming after her, and other girls that she meets while she's, you know having this great, great day. And through um, her adventures, she finds out that obviously some stuff has been done to her eyeball. Um, she finds out that basically all of the girls who have been dropped there were put into this black, into a black casket labeled beauty and then a number. And then all of these Jasons were dropped or just placed in this wooded area with the name Beast and then a number. So, throughout the film, we find out that each final girl has a Jason, and uh, not one that's going to come after her and kill her, but each final girl has a uh, protector Jason that's protecting her from uh, all the other bad Jasons that are trying to kill her. Still with me? Okay, good. Uh, because it's really fucking confusing, but it's a lot of fun in the sense that it's fairly original. Um, Cabin in the Woods did something very similar to this, as well as the Belco experiment, and they both did it better. But this is yet another expansion on the whole slasher genre and making it kind of interesting, kind of new. So we have all these girls and they start figuring out that, okay, we got our Jasons, we got the other Jasons that are trying to kill us, you know, and they're all in this heightened state of, oh my god, I'm gonna die, what's happening? Uh, and so they start like fighting, infighting with each other because they're like, well, they find out that if a girl is killed, then her Jason, his head explodes. Uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff is not explained, and that's a little, a little frustrating. Um, you don't ever know, like, why these Jasons, like, what their motivations are. They're just basically kind of mindless and just... They all have a different weapon, a different mask, but they all look like pretty heavy customers, and they look pretty rough, honestly. They all look like they've been murdering for quite some time, um, all kind of blood-soaked. But then we keep getting flashes every once in a while of just one guy in front of a bank of monitors showing everything going on. And that's kind of the long and short of it. Um, if you're cool with that concept, then you should 
enjoy the film. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Uh, by the end, uh, you're kind of like, oh, wow, this <laughs> it does not make a lot of sense. And you really don't know how our lead um, girl is going to get out of it. And I'm not going to ruin it because it's pretty fun. It's kind of original. And there are some really good, gory, fucked up scenes. Like a girl getting her, basically getting her face shaved off. Um, a girl getting her arms ripped off. And a couple of the Jasons get the shit killed out of them. Uh, at one point, uh, our lead is just like turning this crank like into a Jason's body and it is brutal. All right. Hey buddy. All right. So we're going to give it a, I would say, let's give it a decent rating. We're going to say, see this on Shutter. Get Shutter for October if you can. If you don't want to, obviously, don't do it. But I would recommend it because you got to get those horror movies in. You got to watch them all. It's like how you should probably eat right and you should probably exercise. But will you actually do it? No. Should you actually watch horror movies during October? Yes. It's good for your psyche. It's good for you know, your breath, so just do it, um, The Furies, I recommend it, check it out, a lot of fun, alright, have a good one guys, and I'm gonna keep the reviews coming, I promise.